Well, I got another Abus lock in the core. You know, I just picked this little guy that uh, Leon's lock pad sent me, and uh, you know, Leon, well, I thank you very much. Uh, it was a very fun little lock, uh, and I lost my mind while I was picking it, apparently. So uh, I just went ahead and pulled this other one out, and we're going to give it a shot. Um, it's got the same keyway, so the same stuff going on here, and um, well, this one's a little bit widened out, so I might actually be able to fit my top of the keyway there, which I can. There we go. Yeah, so I can actually fit my top of the keyway right there in the top of that A. And uh, we'll go with this pick here. Click from one, that put me into immediate false set. I click from two, counter rotation on three. And I need to tighten my vice up a little bit. Counter rotation on four. Counter rotation on five. That pick isn't doing me any favors right now. So let's go back to this pick. Counter rotation on two. And we're open. So that looked like your standard Abus pinning with um, one standard and a bunch of spools. So let's uh, go ahead and take this part. And I've got a lock body sitting over here that once I get this thing put that back together, I'm going to stick it in there. I'm going to just. Go ahead and do all of this on camera right now. All right, so I need my little screwdriver to pull this clip off. Got to be careful because I don't have a key for this one. Okay, there's our clip. And we're going to need to use this shim to shim that gap. And I'll use my ink pen follower. Okay, you can see all six pins in there. And I'm okay, there was two pins there and three. Okay, so there we go. There's no counter milling or anything. Let's go ahead and take these drivers out. Okay, here's my standard. A spool. Another spool. another spool. I don't want to take these springs out. And we got another spool. And another spool. So we got one standard and all the rest spools just like I thought. Let's see if I can't put this one back together with my... Nope. That follower is not going to work, so I want to stick with this one. All right, so, yeah, the only weird thing in this one is uh, there was a wafer in three, and a very large wafer. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this lock back together. And yes, most of the time it is easier to start halfway through the lock than flip your follower around and go the other way, but yeah, I'm just not doing that this time. Now 
And the odd thing with this little lock is it didn't force me to play spool ping pong like uh, some other Avises have. But this lock's probably been picked on quite a bit, so I'm not going to hold that against it. And one is actually a recycled key pin. So that does tell me it's been uh, played with some. I need my shim here. So I'll need that when we go to put that back together. All right, let's go ahead and put these key pins back in. And, uh, yeah, there's this guy. Five wasn't actually a key pin. It was flat on both ends. So this lock's been a little bit hodgepodged. this core back together it's all locked up and remember I don't have a key and look what I've got to put it in <laughs> I love this Abus core American lock this is just perfect in my book But uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. An Abus American Lock. Fun times. And the next person to get this is either going to have to make a key for it or just pick it open. All right, Leon's Lock Pad. Thank you very much for that lock core. And everyone else, please stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.